Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard. At the Alberta Research Council, they're developing a product that will add economic opportunities and reduce air pollution in agricultural sectors around the world. Eventually, this product will help Albertans save more forests for the future. Our pilot plant is one of the best equipped in the world to, to, to do a lot of work into panel board research. And uh, we're sort of the front runners here, and part of the reason of that is because where Edmonton is located is where we're on the edge of the woodlands and on the edge of the, of the, of the prairies. It's just a natural for us. About 25 years ago, the Alberta Research Council designed a panel board that could utilize aspen and poplar. They gained a reputation as problem solvers for designing panel board products from unconventional fibers. My main project right now is working with a product we call OSSB, and this particular product is making a structural panel out of straw rather than making a structural panel out of wood. It has all the stiffness and strength characteristics that you would find in regular OSB. Uh, it actually is a little bit better than the product property called water swell, so its resistance to swelling after rain is a little bit better than wood-based OSB. Other than the appearance of it, the performance properties of the product are virtually identical. OSB is now the dominant building material in new home construction, resulting in high demand for wood fiber. On the other hand, agricultural communities face a problem of excess fiber in the form of straw, which often has to be disposed of by burning. The Alberta Research Council now helps to develop strawboard plants in other parts of the world. Basically what happened was a client uh, from San Francisco uh, looked this up on the website and found this great product we've been working on and took it to an existing strawboard plant in Saskatchewan, converted the strawboard plant that was making particle board to make this OSB type product. So we're working with the plant, helping them to develop the panels. They have to go through a code certification process and once that process is completed, they'll be selling the product uh, in California to start with. So everything all fits into place. Uh, the, the rural economy, um, utilization of straw to re reduce pollution, uh, possibility in the future with Kyoto with things like carbon credits. Wayne is also working with a company in Egypt to make medium density fiberboard from rice straw. He looks forward to the day when this technology will help conserve the forest resource here in Alberta. Alberta is very abundant in wood and straw fibers. And what we want to do is develop a strategy to manage these fibers, use straw in this type of area, and help reduce the consumption of the forests and help us keep the forests healthy and as much natural forest as we can and still have a viable forest industry. Join us next week as we learn more about climate, carbon credits, and the boreal forest.